Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel. Today's video I'm going to be talking all about how to budget for EDC Las Vegas and also just about how much it's going to cost you. Um, this was a video that was requested by one of you guys so thank you so much. Always send me ideas if there's anything you want to know about regarding EDC Las Vegas or just in general. I'm more than happy to do a dedicated video on it. I thought this one was particularly funny because I don't know how the fuck to budget anything and I'm not the best person with money. So this will be like a pretty real video for you because if I can do it, then you sure as hell can do it. So if you're just interested in learning about how much EDC Las Vegas costs, please keep on watching. Okay, so this is going to be different for everybody, but um, first and foremost, you're traveling to Las Vegas. I'm coming from New Jersey, so I am flying um, and in the past it's cost me anywhere from like $4.15 to $500 to fly there, which is a lot of money. Um, and this year, since they moved it to May, it's looking like it's going to be in like the $4.20 to $4.60 range, so I'm hoping it's a little bit less than the past years. If you're driving, you obviously have to consider cash, anything you need to get on the way. Um, if you need lodging because you're driving that far and you need to stay someplace for the night, all of these are things to consider, but if driving is an option for you and you are that close, I highly recommend doing that. Just make sure you are prepared for the drive. Next thing is hotel. So at this point, I'm sure a lot of people probably have this covered or done, or you're doing an Airbnb or a hotel off the strip, on the strip. Um, they offer camping this year, which is a whole new experience, um, and they haven't done that before, so I don't have too much background on that, but those are pretty much your options. Um, staying off the strip is definitely going to be a lot less money. Um, at this point, anything on the strip, you can sort of look for maybe like the three-star hotels. Um, I stay in the Luxor because... When we got that the last two years, we booked early enough that there were um, different deals that we got. So it's probably costing my group around $270 a person for five nights. We're staying Thursday through Tuesday. So for me, that was reasonable, and we prefer to stay on the strip. So you can definitely do some research. Um, if you have a big group, look into an Airbnb. Obviously, splitting it is going to help you out with the cost there. But if you want the full experience and you want to do the camping and everything, definitely recommend it. It sounds awesome. So um, if that is in your budget and you want to sort of splurge on that versus like an airfare that somebody else might have, that might be a cool option for you to do. Your tickets, I mean, that goes without saying. That's already done. Um, if you are struggling with payments and you can't pay up front, definitely do the layaway plan. That's what I've done every single year. I can't cough up that much money up front. As far as spending money when you're there, um, we, my group tends to buy food at like a Walgreens or something like that, or we just do Starbucks, something super cheap for breakfast. Um, and then we usually eat one really big meal before going to the festival. So that's like our lunch and dinner. Um, so we try and save money on food or groceries where we can. Um, we pregame in the room 100%, go buy a bottle, split it with your friends um, to save money so that we're not like buying $20 drinks at a freaking nightclub. Which is ridiculous. And another thing about alcohol, if you are going to any nightclubs or day clubs, definitely try to go through a promoter and see if you can get a uh, free entry. Depending on the group you're with, if you're a group of girls or you're sort of a mixed group, um, obviously avoiding a table or a day bed, something like at, at a pool is going to save you money there. Like, I don't need to hang out on a bed for $500. I'm totally fine being in the water getting splashed. Don't care. I'm cheap as hell, so a table has never been an option for my group. Then you've got travel to and from the festival. So depending on what you're going to do, I don't think that they have they have released any more information about the shuttles yet. So in the past, they cost about like 105 for the three-day pass. So I'm not sure how much they're going to be this year. Um, but my group actually might be doing Lyft or Uber because we had such an issue with shuttles last year. So the Uber wasn't bad at all. We split it three ways. And it was probably maybe like maybe 10 bucks a person one way so it wasn't too too bad and the ride was very fast we got there pretty quickly and we avoided traffic and we even got there before the gates opened on sunday so um definitely look into your options uh if you're gonna go bougie as hell why don't you get a helicopter but this video isn't for you because you're not watching fucking bud budget videos on youtube and lastly when you're inside the festival you can expect to see lots of different food vendors drink vendors they have people walking around with drinks um they have tons of free water refill stations, so if you've got a Camelback 
or you buy like one of the canteen bottles they have, save money that way. The food is gonna be like typical food prices, I feel like for any music festival. Like I'm trying to think of what I've gotten in the past, like fries and chicken skewers and all that kind of stuff. Um, probably in the eight to $15 range. Um, same for alcohol, I'm pretty sure like a beer would be like 10 to 12 and some sort of like cocktail mix drinks would be like 15. So anywhere around there. They also have a general store, um, which some of my money will go there because they have candy, they have bandanas, all kinds of merchandise, bags. So for me personally, I put a little bit of my budget aside to buy some stuff from the festival so that I can have it as a memory of the festival. They actually had some like really cool vendors. They had like a whole vaping section, which was crazy. I'm trying to remember what else. They had like tons of fashion. They had a beauty bar and a glitter bar. Um, they had some really, really cool stuff in the festival itself. So just allocate some money um, for what you're going to spend there. I personally bring about like $60 in cash a day and I don't spend that. Like maybe the one day I buy merchandise I might spend my $60. But besides that I use um, a Camelback so I have free water and then I might buy a Powerade or they have this like pink lemonade and orange juice walking around like I always get that shit because it's been so hot in the past you're gonna be drinking alcohol at the festival the whole time obviously you're gonna need more than that and that's pretty much it I'm sorry I couldn't give exact numbers on any on everything because I don't remember and everybody's situation is different depending on who you're traveling with where you're coming from but that's like a general idea of what to budget and how to sort of save up for where your money is going to be going into this festival. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. You can also follow me on social at Emma Capotis on Instagram and at hey there Emma on Snapchat. Feel free to leave me any comments, questions, concerns there on this video. If you have any more video suggestions, I'm more than happy to work on them and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.